what's up everyone soldier first class here and today's mission we are going to do a video that i'm probably not going to be able to get through without laughing because we have a final fantasy 16 announcement rumor coming from reddit and 4chan if you can believe it now this rumor was picked up by game rant who will be going over their article and uh it's it's pretty good so let's go ahead and and we are going to go ahead and look at this. So, this rumor. Uh, a leak claims that a Final Fantasy 16 announcement is coming this summer, and it also mentions some interesting game features and plans. Uh, they go on to talk about Final Fantasy 15, about how we need another new mainline entry, what it can learn, blah, blah, blah. And then they go into what the leak actually claims. And this one's kind of a two-parter, because they actually claim uh, the stuff about... Luminous Productions doing a new IP, which is true, they are doing that for the PS5. But uh, it says the leak claims that Final Fantasy 16 and a new IP from Square Enix, Crimson Ar Ar Arbitium, I don't know, will be unveiled this summer at a gaming event. It is unclear which event, although many will hope it is connected to the upcoming PlayStation 5 events. Despite there being no clear date or event for the announcement of Final Fantasy 16, there are some interesting comments about what will feature in it. It seems that the game will, as expected, take place in a new fantasy-based universe, but this time it will incorporate steampunk elements. The post also claims that Naoki Yoshida, who is considered by many responsible for salvaging Final Fantasy XIV, will act as the director of the project. This is kind of a rumor that's been floating around. It's never been actually confirmed, but we do know that he is working on a new project. We just don't know if it's Final Fantasy XVI or not. Um... What he did for 1.0 is great. Um, I actually have wanted Yoshida to direct a mainline non-MMO Final Fantasy for a long time. So if this is true, I'm, I'm super stoked. But, uh, it's, it's that. The leak claims that Yoshida-led project will have combat inspiration from Final Fantasy XV and Dark Souls. So, two things. Why would you take inspiration from a game's combat that was terrible... Uh, why wouldn't you model it after, I don't know, Final Fantasy VII Remake? Uh, also, Dark Souls? When has Final Fantasy, or even Square Enix, really produced anything that you would say is Dark Souls-worthy in difficulty? Uh, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, maybe you guys can, but uh, the Final Fantasy games often use groups of characters that players can utilize and do not share the same difficulty as the Souls game, and as a result, it would be interesting to see how these elements would interlink. Probably not a good idea. I'm just, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that that's probably not a, the greatest idea in the world. Um, I, I just can't get over the fact that people still take any kind of, that people even consider that 4chan leaks can be, can be real. It says Reddit, but then when you click on the source, it says a rumor of 4chan speaks of information obtained from an insider very close to Square Enix. Now, number one, it, it says Crimson's Arbitrium, however you say that, Agni's Anthology. Agni's philosophy was a tech demo that they came out with for, uh, I believe, the PS4. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, it was when Luminous Productions was doing its first kind of thing with Final Fantasy XV, and they were kind of like showing off Luminous Productions and the engine. And now, apparently, Luminous is turning that into a full-fledged game, which would be cool. If you've ever seen Agni's Philosophy, which I can't show due to copyright reasons for some reason, um, you'll know that it is actually it does look really, really cool. Um, all of the footage that we got of Agni's Philosophy was really cool, but... It's just the fact that, like, they're taking stuff that has already been kind of rumored and they're throwing it into this leak, quote-unquote, and it's so laughable because of that. Because it's like, you know, after dealing with the Square El Segundo leaks that we had to a while back for the remake, I was, I was just laughing at how many people were taking this seriously. Because you can literally not take anything off of 4chan, or even really Reddit for that matter, uh to be 100% true, or even close to being true for the most part. Uh, a lot of times these are just rumors and leaks that have been around for years, and all of a sudden somebody is compiling them into an actual, what they call a leak, 
So I, I really wouldn't believe anything that comes out of this. Um, do I think that something could be shown in Final Fantasy 16 with the um, PS5 events? Yes, I do. I think it's possible that it could happen. I don't see it happening because I don't think production is far enough along for Square to have any kind of mock-up or any kind of uh, solid footage to show us because it, it, I, I believe it's still in like the planning stage maybe it might be in full development now um, but at the same time I also want to point out that the last time we talked uh, about Naoki Yoshida and what he wanted to do with the new Final Fantasy if it was Final Fantasy 16 he wanted to do a high fantasy in the style of like 9 or even the earlier Final Fantasies like 1 and 2 and I don't see Yoshida going back on that and then wanting to do steampunk. We have Final Fantasy VII Remake. We have Final Fantasy VII. Uh, most Final Fantasies after VI have been the steampunk or futuristic or mix of fantasy and futuristic, except for nine. And then you kind of had twelve, but it was a little it was a little bit in that sense too. Um, and then. I just don't, I don't know, I don't see it happening in that way. I don't see Final Fantasy 16 being a steampunk game. I highly doubt it. I'm thinking it's going to be more in line with the original Final Fantasies and 9. That's that's kind of what tipped me off a little bit was the steampunk thing. And then after reading into this leak or whatever, I, I had to laugh. But I also want to laugh because I'm friends with some of the marketing department where supposedly this came from. And those guys are so tight-lipped, and they're so dedicated to their job, they don't say anything. Like, I met with them at PAX East, talked to them about Final Fantasy VII Remake, and they literally told me nothing that I didn't already know. They were so tight-lipped and so dedicated to their NDAs, their jobs, they don't, they don't talk about this stuff. So, I, I, I just highly doubt the validity of this rumor. Um... Do I hope it's true? Sure, I hope it's true that we get something at a PS5 event. Uh, I don't really necessarily want Final Fantasy 16 to be a Dark Souls copy, but I, you know, I, I would like to see things for Final Fantasy 16. We just got Seven Remake out, and obviously it's going to be a few years before we get Part Two of that. So I think it's possible we could get something. Um, I don't see Final Fantasy 16 releasing for at least another two or three years. Um, I think part two of Remake will be out by then, but I, I, I don't know. This is so laughable. It hurts. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and don't forget to omni slash that like button. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of this leak, rumor, 4chan, shitpost, whatever you want to call it. Um, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to join the ranks of Soldier today. And for all the latest Final Fantasy 16 news, rumors, and trailers, I'm Soldier First Class, and I'm on to the next mission. Later, guys. Ah, uh, 4chan.